I'm here with, uh, with Tim Smith from Arp Capital. Tim, th thank you for taking the time to talk to Automated Trader. We're here at the RTS seminar here in, in London's Lombard Street. Uh, Tim, how are you finding markets at the moment? Obviously they're very volatile at the moment. Um, so if it's uh, lots of swings up and down, then it's cashing our systems out. Um, and last month we had quite a... Uh, it didn't, it didn't perform too well, we had a bit of a drawdown. Um, and this month, we're working in the right direction. Um, we've done really well in our systems. Presumably, the, uh, the increased volatility that we've been seeing has meant that a lot of models have needed to be revisited in order to, uh, um, in order to make some alterations to cope with the different market conditions. Um, yes, but um, we don't want to make too many alterations on the systems, only um, drastic alterations, alterations um, that are needed for the ones that we make, um, to try and keep things robust. And um, if, we, if we keep on having to go back into our models and changing things, then obviously it's not um, as successful as we first thought it would be. Okay, which, um, which development environment do you use? Um, we're actually using the trading blocks at the moment, um, which is why we come to look at the um, because you can't link trading blocks into any trading platform. Um, and as we're starting to move into the intraday stuff, um, we need something that will kind of execute trades quickly, um, which you can't realistically do um, by manually generating trades in a uh, trading block system and then um, entering it. At the moment, we export uh, via a broker. Um, so, so you're going to be going um, um, direct to the exchange, and, and obviously, latency is going to be an issue for you. Yeah, I believe that's the, uh, that's the aim. Yeah. What, what, what sort of um, time horizon do your trades have? Um, and we see everything yeah. from, a, from a spectrum of, a, you know, of uh, microseconds through to days, weeks, or months for some funds. What, what about your own time horizon? The system that we're running at the moment is a daily system. Um, the average, uh, the average trade length varies per contract, um, but the average trade probably is about 30 days um, across all contracts, and we have about 40 contracts in um, our portfolio that we're running at the moment. Um, at the moment, we're actually testing a new system. Um, have you, um, as a as a firm, you, I mean, your models are quite long term um, uh, in in trading system um, context. Um, have you deliberately stayed away from the from the very low latency scalping type type models? Um, no, we haven't. Um, the other part of my um, my role is an options trader, um, so obviously that's, that's in and out very quickly. Just um, arbitraging the um, surface of the system, but um, but then this is going to be this is running alongside that, um, and we're trying to move into the daily uh, the daily system, um, and then maybe combine the options with the, the features to. Um, Get so it's a question of um, trade smarter rather than rather than trade faster. Yeah, yeah. Um, we don't um, mind so much about the milliseconds, uh, whether we've got the right trade, whether our system is picking up the good trades. Sure. And um, the, uh, the the type of inputs you use for your models, obviously without revealing any uh, any proprietary. Information um, are they technical analysis based or pure price action based? Or um, yeah, lots of um, technical analysis in our systems. Um, we try and keep it as simple as possible. Um, find out what's best. If you're trying to overcomplicate things, then um, it doesn't just doesn't run as smoothly. Sure. And in terms of uh, something that we hear a lot of is is um, from from other proprietary trading firms and hedge funds is that the uh, the model uh, half-life, if you like, is getting shorter and shorter. Is that something that, that, that you're seeing as the market becomes more and more efficient, um, that the, uh, the market effectively arbs out many of its own opportunities? We haven't seen that over the period that we've been, um, we've been using our systems, but um, we're quite new in this area, so um, I'm sure we'll see that in a short time. 
Sure. At the moment, things are, are staying fairly robust. Uh, Very good. Okay, well, Tim, thank you ever so much for taking the time to talk to us today here at RTS's London event, and um, best of luck in the market. Thank you very much.